NanoCAD provides a wide variety of methods for selecting groups of objects, but perhaps the one that's least known is itself called groups. Groups are essentially named selection sets. To create a group, enter the group command. Here you see the object grouping dialog box. First thing you need to do is click the new button. NanoCAD jumps the cursor to the group name field. I'll enter in a name like border. I'll click the new button again. And this time I'm going to select the objects I want to be part of the group. In this case, it's the border lines. When I'm done selecting objects, I press enter. And you can see up here is the name of the group. Border has been added. And then that the selectable option is set to yes. What this means is that if you select one entity in the group, the entire group is selected. Let's see how that works. Click OK to close the dialog box. And now when I select one of the border lines, notice that all of them are selected. If you don't want that to happen, then go back into the group dialog box, choose the group, and then come down here and click selectable to turn it off. Click OK. And now when I select one of the border lines, only the one is selected, not the other. Now that you've formed a group, there's a few ways in which you can use them. You can use them directly. For example, let me enter the move command. And now when I select one of these border lines, both borders are selected. And then when I move it, both are moved. Let me press undo. Second way to use it is through the select command, where you specifically create a selection set. So it asks me to select an object, but if I type G, it prompts me for the name of a group. I can type in border. Lines making up the border group are selected. Naturally, you can have more than one group in a drawing. So I'm going to create a second one, this time showing you how to create a group from a complex number of entities. I want to create a group with all the dimensions that are shown in this drawing. It's a bit complicated because of all the other lines that are in there. The best way to isolate the dimensions from the rest of the drawing is to use the isolate command. So I come up here to the ribbon and choose the isolate command. And then I choose one of the dimensions, press enter. And now only the dimensions are available for choosing as a group. I now start the group command, create a new group, call it dims, and choose all the entities. I'll click OK, and then I'll turn off isolation mode by clicking the Isolate button a second time. Now when I select a dimension, all the dimensions are selected. To remove a group from a drawing, once again enter the Group command, choose a group, and then come down here and click the Explode button. It doesn't actually explode the entities, but explodes the group, rendering them independent entities once again. Now when I choose a dimension, only the dimension is chosen. Mm -hmm.